Hi. This video was supposed to be posted yesterday, aka Sunday, aka right now, tonight. However, since my other video got deleted and I didn't have time to edit my video before I had to go into work, which is why I look like this and smell like broccoli cheddar chicken and cheese right now because I work at a restaurant and I'm a server. Hi, yes, hello. Um, this is going up tomorrow because I am not going to post this video late at night and nor do I want to. I am very tired. It has been a long day, so I'm very sorry it is late, but here you go. Do you want more? Hi, I already made this video. I edited it, I did everything I needed to make it done. It was perfect, I was just about to upload, and for some reason, it decided it wanted to completely delete itself and not recover in my files in any possible way. So here I am, re-recording the entire thing again. I wanted to record and post this actually earlier throughout the week, but I've been really sick recently, and I have been Anytime I've been trying to eat something, I keep constantly throwing it up. I don't know if it's a bug, I don't know what's going on, but that is why I have not been able to record a vlog for a while because I have been puking my guts out for the past week. <laughs> Was that too much information? I feel like you guys are okay. To point out on the upside, I'm very excited because I got this in. It was something I bought, it was very cheap online, and I went ahead and bought it. It is actually a t-shirt dress, so I'm super excited to wear it. Uh, maybe with my black thigh highs or something. Um, I'm trying to wear it as much as possible right now because I have a dog and this is black and I'm, it's not gonna last that long because major sheds. So everything I own basically converts to dog hair. I don't know how he manages to get it all over me even if I try to avoid him and try to not have him jump on me. He still manages to find a way to get dog hair all over everything I own. Speaking of hair, today we are going to be talking about how to take care of your Sheba and when it comes to brushing your Sheba and grooming them. So typically a lot of people are asking me questions about Major. I've seen in the comments they've said that he is maybe like overweight. Major is actually not overweight. He weighs the exact amount he should at the vet. It's his fur that makes him look that way. There's actually different types of Shebas and they are all different types because of the different type of fur coats they have. And a lot of people believe that taking care of a Sheba and maintenance with the Sheba when it comes to grooming is a lot of work and it's actually not as bad as you may think. When you want to take care of your Sheba, typically if you live in a more warm area like we live in Florida, you are going to have to brush them a little bit more often as to somebody who would live in a, warm, or a colder area because Shebas are meant for cold areas. They are double coated dogs. If you don't know what that means, that means they have a layer here and they also have an extra layer underneath them that helps them with insulating like heat and being able to stay cool in those type aspects as well as being able to be very, very warm in cold areas. What you wanna do if you want to get a Sheba, I would start off, this is the type of brush that I have for Major. See if you can see it here. This is the first half of it and then this is, ignore all the dog hair because it's really hard to get this out, but this is the second half and it's more of a soft like bristly side for the dog. Um, I do, I use this because you can get this at your local pet store. Um, you can even get it at Walmart. I recommend just going to Walmart and going ahead and getting it because it's cheaper there. But if you're more comfortable with getting it at a local pet store, that's completely okay as well. And it's two different halves. So this is for maybe like the double coat part, the more of the undercoat. And this is for the softer side, which is the top layer coating to maybe just brush the rest of it off. So usually when Sheba's uh, shed, they do shed. They don't shed as bad, but they do shed very badly and very frequently, usually around two times a year. It's typically around summertime as well as when winter time is starting to come up. You'll definitely be able to notice it because they will get clumps of fur and that's from their undercoat that's starting to shed. And it's very loose fur that's gonna come out. It comes out in balls like, like this big almost and sometimes I'll sit here and I'll like do this and just clumps of fur will come out like I I brush him and I have the Publix bag I fill up I can literally make a second Shiba Inu with this you need to be prepared for that so they are going to shed I recommend if you do have carpet get a very strong vacuum cleaner I have the dirt devil that is the one with pets specifically you can also get little stuff you can sprinkle like on top um, like carpet stuff that gets like the extra hair from underneath it. Um, I use that, it's Arm & Hammer, and it's specifically for pet odor too, so it can get rid of some of the pet smell. But when it comes to bathing, your Shiba Inu, you don't want to bathe them super frequently. You want to make sure you actually kind of keep that minimal. As for certain shampoos and conditioners, 
I don't necessarily know what would be best to use, except I can say they do have extremely sensitive skin. They're actually known for having allergies and skin problems in the future. I'll get more into that when we talk about the health side in a different video. But they're very sensitive when it comes to skin and certain things that are used on their skin. So definitely, whether you're going to a groomer, I take Major to the groomer. So I take him to the groomer because Major hates water. And we have tried to bathe him on our own and it's a long huge process it takes like over an hour just to finally get this dog clean and before we can get him in the towel and dry him off he used to run inside the house and put his wet fur all over the carpet and then he just did nothing but smell like wet dog and so did the rest of the whole house so i take major to the groomers and they're super excited when he comes in because he's just the center of attention they love him he's super like he loves people so he likes to hang out with everyone there and he comes home smelling like apples and apricots i don't know what shampoo they use i would just recommend if you do take him to the groomer tell them hey and you know he's a shiba inu or she's a shiba inu they're very very sensitive do you have any types of shampoos that would be better for that they probably do and if you go to the store to get that at a local pet store they're probably able to point you in the right direction if you guys have any comments or any like suggestions on what to use for other people who are recommending you know recommending for a shiba inu feel free to put it in the comments below because i specifically don't know the types of shampoo and conditioners that would be best for them as for shaving your dog so for shiba inus you're not supposed to shave them it's not detrimental if you do it's not a huge like they're gonna die it's gonna be the worst thing ever it's not like that at all however it is not recommended and i do admit with major here i do shave major i shave him once a year but the only reasoning that I have done that is because I have tried all of the de-shedding options and I've tried all sorts of different things and none of it works because his coat is so thick and we live in an area that can get up to 100 degrees outside. And I started noticing that even with the de-shedder, first of all, the ones that I have tried, at least with Major's type fur, because Major's fur is a little bit thicker than other Shiba Inu's, his fur, it will work for the first week with the de-shedding, and then he's right back to shedding again after that. He's right back to getting clumps of fur. Not only that, but when I walk him, he, especially, you know, during the summertime specifically, which is usually when I shave him, he is so miserable with this fur. And he only can go on short walks, and when he wants to go on, like, long walks, it's gotten to the point where once before I have had to actually pick him up and carry him home because he got so overheated that he could not continue to walk home. And that's really concerning and that's even worse for the dog. So I do shave him. Uh, when you go to the groomer, I don't shave him that much. I actually keep, I keep his tail here. I keep these part of his legs like full and I also keep up to here when it comes to like his actual fur on his face and his like um, neck. And the rest of it, it is the groomer knows to like the certain ways to shave it evenly so it's not as, you know, kind of crazy and uneven. And I don't shave him to the lowest. They have certain numbers when you go to a groomer of how much you want to get him shaved. And I do not shave the undercutting part. I just shave to where it's enough to where he stops shedding, but it's not short enough to where it's going to detrimentally or severely damage his undercoat. And um, which I think is okay in the sense. So I would recommend to not shave your Shiba, do anything, you know, try the de-shedding. It might work differently with if you have a different type of Shiba, has a different type coat. Sometimes they have more thin coats than others. Try the de-shedding, it may work really well. Do not shave your Shiba Inu unless you absolutely, absolutely have to. And I only shave Major once a year, because that's all he needs to. He needs to be shaved during the summertime because it's too hot for him and it's too much. But other than that, I keep him at his, you know, I keep him at his fur and the other temperatures as it gets a little cooler in Florida and stuff, he's able to handle because he can actually take in, you know, the heat and it can cool himself down. But when it gets like uh, 100 degrees outside, that's not necessarily the case. One thing that you really need to keep in mind with Shiba Inus, they are very, very sensitive. So when you are brushing your dog, this goes for any dog in general, it's supposed to be a fun experience for the dog. It's not supposed to stress them out. It's not supposed to hurt them. So if your dog is feeling pain or you notice they don't like being brushed, it's uncomfortable, I recommend maybe getting a different type of brush. They have some with the combs um, that are very, very kind of harsh on certain dogs. So maybe if you have that type, get something a little bit softer. And if that's not maybe the case, maybe try brushing them just a little bit gentle, uh, more gentle than you were before, because especially when it comes to Shiba Inus, you need to brush them very gentle because they are extremely sensitive to pain. They do not handle pain very well. They have a low pain tolerance. 
and they also have um, their skin gets irritated very easily um, and I want to say this especially with shaving one thing with shaving your Shiba Inu they don't like that because their skin's so sensitive they can get razor burn and they can get infections with the razor so again I talked to the person at my local pet store she knows Major very well she takes very good care of him so she knows what to do and what is okay with him and his skin so he's taken care of right buddy just remember when you are brushing them it might have to you might just have to take your time it may take a little bit longer than usual don't go through it really quickly take your time get you know all of the sides and the corners because especially with Shiva's in their undercoat it's gonna take a while to get those certain spots and tufts of their fur out and you want to make sure you keep up with it um, as much as you possibly can. It's okay if you miss a day or two um, of brushing them, but please continue. Don't like neglect them when it comes to brushing them. Even if they're not shedding super frequently, at least use this part you know, of a brush like once a week or something just to get some excess fur. Not only is it good for the dog and it makes them feel good, but it's good for them health-wise. And you do want to take care of them because you don't want to make their fur so severe where they get matted and all of that. And that goes, again, that goes for any dog, but especially with Shiba news during the summertime and the winter and you're seeing those tufts of fur, make sure you brush it out. Don't just leave it there because it, one, looks horrible and looks like you're not keeping up with the dog, which you aren't. But two, it, it can actually lead to severe problems within um, their fur and their undercoat especially, and you don't want that to happen. I would recommend if you can't, since you cannot bathe Shiba's extremely often because of their fur, you can get Donkey Cologne. Major actually has that. If you just go to your local pet store around your home, even like Walmart and Target sometimes will have some, and you just get just it's like a little bottle and you can just spray it on them don't make direct contact with the skin but spray around and they won't stink up your whole house and you don't have to bathe them in order to do it so that's very nice so major gets that sometimes um for him because sometimes he starts to smell and I can't bathe him super often I can't take him to the grimace to bathe super often so that's what I use for him I don't really have much else to say I wanted to record this and I did record it earlier because they have a we have a tropical storm coming in in Florida right now and it's hitting us and although at least in my area we're not getting the heavy parts of the tropical storm we're just getting the moderate um, severe parts of the storm but we're under like this huge like flood watch and my power will go out at literally anything. So I wanted to record this and upload it before my power went out. And hopefully I am still able to do that and my, you know, it won't decide to just randomly delete itself and then I can't recover the video. So let's hope. If you guys are getting stuck in the tropical storm, please just make sure you stay safe. I know for other states, tropical storm seems like really scary, but for Florida, it's really not that bad. We just have a hurricane party, we don't care. It's like a normal thunderstorm here, so it's really not that bad. But again, there are a bunch of flood warnings and like power outages are happening and stuff. So just make sure if you are driving at all, just stay safe while you're driving. Try to stay indoors as much as possible. Maybe watch some movies with your friends and families and just to kind of hang out for the next day or two while it hits. And other than that, if you guys like this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, we are making this into a series of how to take care of your Shiba Inu. Um, if you have any, again, recommendations when it comes to any de-shedding techniques or something that I can try with Major here instead of shaving him once a year, please let me know or let any other people know what to do if they're having the same problem. And other than that, we're going to be posting videos every Wednesday of Major either howling or doing his silly shenanigans. And we hope you have a majorly great day.